All right, here we go. Question number 23 from our 1316 homework number seven in my lab math. It says find ZW, that means Z times W, write your answer in polar form, which these complex numbers are already in polar form. So when we find the product Z times W, we're just gonna leave that answer in polar form. It does say to type an exact answer using pi as needed. And so that means that no decimal approximations are allowed. Let me start with the formula. If you want to find Z times W, the product of two complex numbers in polar form, the formula is R1 times R2 cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus I sine of theta 1 plus theta 2. Okay, so if I break that down for you into the basics, what you basically need to know is that you're going to multiply the radii, the two radiuses, radii is plural for radiuses, you're going to multiply the radii and you're going to add the angles. And that's really all you have to do here. So here we go. Z times W, the product, we're going to multiply the radii. 4 times 4 is 16. Cosine of, and then we're going to add the angles. Now, if you have trouble adding fractions that do not have a common denominator, well, welcome to the calculator. We can actually do uh, pi over 7 plus pi over 9. And the Casio handles it quite nicely. 16 pi over 63. And the nice thing about this problem is you only have to add that one time because the theta 1 plus theta 2 is going to be the same for the sine. And I believe we're done. Let me put a box around that to illustrate that is the answer there. And now let's see if we can input this into my lab math correctly. 16 parentheses, COS, cosine of, and I think these parentheses may be optional. Let's see here. 16 pi over 63 plus I from the keyboard, I, S, I, N. pi over 63 and don't forget that closed parenthesis at the back fingers crossed oh yeah man I hope that was helpful if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those in the comment section below or you can text me and thanks for watching